This is the sifter that I built. Here's an A-frame right here. And there's one single one holding up the A-frame. And then my sifter is attached to this A-frame. And it's just above the wheelbarrow. There's a wheelbarrow right below. I'm definitely not going to compost this anymore. I need to start using the space for growing plants. I'll show you this as a close-up on this coarse material here. Ooh, it's still hot. It's still composting, but we're out of time. So that's the material. It's pretty coarse. You still still see uh, wood shavings in it. Took one out of there. Yeah, that's a wood shavings right there. That's the other yeah, focus here. And uh, I don't think that's going to be a bad thing. To be in the pot to grow plants that don't need a lot of nitrogen. I think tomatoes and potatoes will grow well in it. But if you have a crop that needs high nitrogen requirements like corn, that will be a problem. So now, by sifting it, I am taking all those larger wood shavings out of the picture plus a lot of other chunks and there's still a lot of stems from some of those wild plants I added. That's coming out. So you can see like here are the stems. This is actually a stick. So I'm throwing that over there for the hazelnut thicket. Sometimes I see little pieces of plastic. I'm taking that out. So now this is coarse material. And I'm shoveling it out of here. And I'm putting it in a pile underneath the I have an apricot and a cherry tree growing together right there next to where I'm composting. I'm throwing it under there so that's in a deep shade. And the worms are definitely going to love this. The worms are going to eat this right up. So I already broke one string. I haven't used this sifter I think for two years. And I'm kind of recalling the last time I used the sifter was on the same material where I got horse manure with all those wood shavings. I remember that was a good year too. And I grew a lot of stuff on that material after I sifted it, both in the pots and the rough stuff. Try to get that to roll. I don't know, I think this is wedding eighth inch hardware cloth. I didn't make this part of the sifter. I bought this at a thrift shop. I think I paid two bucks for it. I recognize what it was. So then all I needed to do was figure out the framework to be able to hold it up while I sifted. If I had to do anything different, I'd probably make it a little bit higher so I wouldn't have to bend over when I'm sifting it. But this sure beats, you know, two guys, uh, one at each end, trying to do it. You don't have to hold any weight with this. The framework does it. There's a stick. No, nope, that's a stem. That's a stick. I don't know where these big hunks of wood come from. Well, here's a little tag for a banana peel. I don't know where those sticks come from. Unless he had it there with the horse manure. Well, maybe I picked some up. They got uh, wood mulch all over the place. Maybe it just was laying there where I started the compost. So you kind of watch it. I don't know if you can see it. It starts getting more coarse. I hop it up to the front and I roll it back towards me. Invariably, I'm going to have somebody say, oh, that's a lot of work. Well, I can tell you, this isn't a lot of work. There are a lot of things that are a lot more a lot of work than this. And I'm highly interested in growing healthy food. So, uh, when you have interests as high as I have, 
then all of a sudden this doesn't work at all. This is all like a giant experiment. Let's see what's going to happen next. So not all of these honey locust pods have decomposed, but you can feel the nuts inside yet. I'm wondering if this one might sprout. You know, and it's came kind of, they're swelled up. This is pretty juicy. That one's juicy. That one's pretty intact. So I'll be watching this, these piles here any of this stuff sprouts, I'm going to go ahead and plant them. I'll transplant them. Isn't that interesting? So these have cracked shells. These here don't. That one might. So here's some that don't. So we'll see if these sprout. That's like going through the stomach of a mastodon. They got a big ferment take just like a compost heap. Ooh, is that a piece of plastic? Yep, sure is. I want you to watch, you can see, as I sift it without, without trying to, to work it back and forth, but I just sift it and leave it in place, you'll see some of this is going to kind of remain stationary. It's not going to, I mean, if there's any smaller materials on the top, it's not going to be able to filter through. And then watch how I jump it to the end and then roll it back, and then it starts to roll. As it rolls, then you get that, that action of getting the little ones through. What's that? So you can kind of see like this piece right here, it's not really moving. Maybe on the bottom, but not on the top. So what I do is I jump it to the front and then I try to roll it, roll it back. Then it all starts to move. 
And sometimes it's just locked in and you gotta break it apart with your hand. This piece here is maybe a little bit too tough. This one here is that one there. The rest of that looks like it'll roll. That's rolling. See how coarse it looks all of a sudden? All the little stuff fell through. That's what I'm doing. Sifting this coarse material. I don't want this to be built too high. I don't want it to start composting again. And then it'll go anaerobic because I'm not flipping it. So uh, I think it's like two feet or less. It really isn't going to compost too much. I'm going to show you compost that one wheelbarrow worth, I think is worth a thousand dollars. And you ain't going to buy it for that because <laughs> I'm going to use it. Let me get this down here positioned. That is compost right there. I ran it through my compost sifter, and I'll show you what that is in a second. And now I have this beautiful material that I'm gonna be growing vegetables and pots with. Just look at this. Look at that. That is just lovely. Lovely, lovely. It's, you can tell it's just humus. Look at that. Wow. Let me give you a close up of that stuff. And if you've been following all my videos, you know all the materials that I used. Look at that. From green sand, the sediment from ancient orange. <laughs> From green sand, the sediment from ancient oceans, azomite, ground up lava rock, minerals from deep in the earth, kelp from current oceans, actually oceans in, up north on Iceland, off Iceland. So we've got that mineral base. Um, I put in ant tailings. So all the things that the ants collect, which are probably numerous, I've seen them carrying all types of bugs to their, to their hives. And I think they even farm mushrooms. So you got all that fungi. And then all of the plants that I composted in here. Some of the plants that I actually grew just for composting, comfrey and stinging nettles, which are mineral accumulators in their own right. And then the, the wood shavings and the horse manure. All right, any horse manure left in here anymore? That nitrogen has been soaked up by the wood shavings. And this is the beautiful material that's been sifted. Wow. That was worth working three and a half hours to do. I have three elements in my compost sifter structure. And one is this A-frame. So it comes up to, to a point. But I have this center post that I fixed. And this post, the, these, two, these two pieces that make up the A-frame, they're on the outside of this post, or on your side, the camera side. And then I have one single post coming up 
on the opposite of this support piece and this is holding the A-frame in the air. And the third component is this sifter. I didn't make it, but I uh, bought it at a thrift shop. And I believe the hardware cloth is uh, 1 8 inch square. And that's what I'm using. The sifter is supported up by this baling twine to bale uh, straw and hay bales together. And so all I'm doing is just kind of free here to move. I compost like that. I sifted it by hand, and I had this metal metal sifter, and I actually had the weight. I couldn't take as much because it would be more heavy. So I, every one of them I did like this, and that was really hard. Where this, because it's elevated, it's holding the weight. So all I have to do is push it back and forth. Here's a side view of the compost sifter. It's the A-frame. Here's the center post that holds uh, the A-frame together with this support post. And of course we got the sifter. Pretty simple. I'm going to see if I can put this away without looking too awkward. Okay. Put away again for another year or longer. We'll see if I get that material again anytime soon. So that's it. That's the compost story.